Welcome back to another review. Today I have, uh, well I've been to Iceland again. Um, bought some more stuff. So one of the things I have purchased is some cheese and onion pies. As you can see, Cathedral City. Now, there's two in the box. And it is, uh, each pie is 305 grams. Now, these two pies cost me, how much did they cost? Uh, three quid. Three quid. So, 150 a pie. Now then, let's see what it says. Cathedral City, two cheese and onion pies. A short crust pastry base with Cathedral City extra mature cheddar cheese and onion filling topped with a puff pastry lid. There you go. I just cut these bad boys. Um, gotta love a good pie. In the oven. Oh my god. 50 to 55 minutes. What? Wow. Oh, well I better go and do the dreaded I suppose and cook them. Let's have a look at them before I put them in the oven. Well, there you go. Oh, a square pie. A square pie. There you go. So, yeah. I'm going to go stick these in the oven and um, Wait 55 minutes from the cook, but I'll be with you in a jiffy. And we are back ah, 50 minutes later. Well, actually, about 48 minutes to be precise. Let's have a little look. Fresh out of the oven, there it is. Look at that. It's just nice. Let's have a look. Come on. Out right, you come. So there it is. About 48 minutes that was. Right. First things first, let's cut this open. Um let me use a knife. Right. Try and do it without wrecking the pie. Good luck with that. Pastry is crumbly. Let's have a look. There you go. Straight away, smell the cheese and the onion. Smells nice. Smells lovely. Now, I'll try and do this without burning myself because that is red hot. But look at that. That looks absolutely marvellous. Whatever it is, we're about to find out. The one thing I always do with a cheese and onion pie, after it's cooked, I try and let it stand and just I just sit for a couple of minutes because then I find if I don't do that, the filling can be sometimes a little bit runny. And just by letting it sit for a few minutes, A, it lets it cool down. And B, it tends to thicken up the filling. Now, this hasn't been standing that long. And the, the filling does seem quite runny. But, that said, it smells very nice. Right, let's give this a go. Let's burn me mouth. Ah.
Ow. Chunks of potato and onion. Really should have let this cool down for a minute or two. But me, being me, couldn't wait. Now, is this mature or extra mature? I can't remember what I said. Mmm. <laughs> Definitely on. Mmm, loads of filling. It, the cheese is not as strong as I was expecting. And now it's cooling down. The filling, as I said, is thickening up a little bit, which is, which is nice. Now do you eat your cheese and onion pies? I normally have mine with a bit of tomato ketchup, to be fair. I'm not going to do that now, because I want to get the full flavour of the pie. But... It is nice. Mm. Mm. Right. So, I mean look, get tons of filling, tons of it, but where are we going to go? Right, pie in general is nice, plenty of filling, potatoes, onion, cheese, loads of it. Pastry is nice, pastry out is nice, pastry the pasting, the pastry top is nice, um, yeah, like I say, my only criticism is, the filling is a little bit runny, but, it's doable, it's doable, and the cheese isn't as strong as I would expect, but it's still nice, it's still nice. So, where am I going to go with this? Cathedral City Cheese and Onion Pie is getting a like from me today. Um, yeah, would I, would I recommend it? Yeah, go try it. If you like cheese and onion pies, you're going to like this. So, oh, I think you will. If you've had it, again, you know what to do by now. Leave your thoughts and your comments in the comment box below. And until next time, guys, I'm going to finish this off. And I will love you and leave you, and I'll see you again on the next review. I'm out of here. Take care. See you soon.